I am famously someone that loves styling a harness in an everyday outfit. Dropping it, dropping it, shake my ass, I'm stopping it. What was that? <laughs> I've become a little bit of a harness collector at this point. I will admit, I've definitely bought more now that I get more use out of them. A few years ago, I saw some photos from New York Fashion Week online where there was a lot of harnesses being styled and I was like, oh, I'm inspired. Cause listen, I had a harness or two and I had never considered wearing them outside of the bedroom. But oh my God, are they the perfect fucking accessory. So over the last few years, styling harnesses in my everyday outfits has become a routine staple of mine. It's part of my cartoon character's signature outfit. I've actually been thinking about that a lot because I think that this outfit is my cartoon character's signature outfit as of right now in this era of my life. It works so well. Anytime I need to go somewhere and look a little bit good, this is the outfit that I've been wearing and I think, I think I might keep that one around. <laughs> so today I thought it'd be fun to dive into styling my three favorite harnesses and showing you some different ways you can bring styling harnesses into your everyday wardrobe if you so choose. Before I get too ahead of myself here, let me introduce you to our players. This is Jill. This is my lady Amy. Little Susie. Brianna. You know why we call her Brianna, right? No. Oh. Yeah, it's a long story. Oh, but Maddie, where did your interest in harnesses come in the first place? To answer that question, I'm just gonna hand it over to the sponsor of today's video, which is Beducated. <laughs> Beducated is a platform where toe curling pleasure meets expert-backed sex education. They've got over a hundred online courses led by the world's best sex experts, talking about everything from self-pleasure to kink all in one place. And this really isn't your standard run-of-the-mill sex education. This is one-of-a-kind stuff, all right? They're not just telling you, they're showing you. They've got video tutorials, practical exercises, and reliable information just flooded through these courses so that you can take all of your Google searches, all the sex questions that you really wanna know the answers to and just pop them all in one place. It's all over on Beducated, baby. I've tried so many courses from Beducated over the years, but to me, some of their most interesting courses are the ones that they have on oral sex. Listen, most of us, huge fans of oral sex. I have famously said, that I would pick oral sex over every other sex act. And I don't think that's controversial. But you know what, despite what a big fan base oral sex has, I think that overwhelmingly, people don't feel as confident giving and receiving oral as they would like to. And what I think platforms like Beducated do is they open up the doors for people to get a little bit more curious about their sexuality, about what turns them on, what feels good for them in the bedroom. And at the same time, it's gonna help boost your confidence. It's gonna teach you new oral sex techniques to try out on your partner, to have your partner try out on you. And overall, just encourage a more curious mindset when it comes to sex instead of being like, I fuck, I've fucked before, what if, I don't need to improve on anything, I don't need to learn. If you guys are interested in trying out Beducated for yourself, learning some new oral sex techniques, and exploring the wide range of courses they have on the Beducated platform, you can use code MADDIE for 40% off the yearly pass. And you can test the waters with a 24 hour free trial before committing to that yearly pass, as well as a 14 day money back guarantee if you are not satisfied with your purchase. So again, that is code MADDIE for 40% off the yearly Early pass at Beducated and thank you again to Beducated for sponsoring today's video and spreading sex education all across the land. And with that, I believe I answered that question. So I got invited to a movie premiere tonight, which I'm so excited about. Um, I've never really been to a movie premiere before. I've been to a Netflix premiere. Not to like downplay Netflix. <laughs> but it was like a shitty Netflix movie. It was the third movie in the 365 Days series, which I had never seen any of the other 365 Days movies, but my friends were like, that is so fucking funny. You have to go and just like go in blind sort of thing. So I did. And it was <laughs> really bad. <laughs> but this is the first movie premiere that I'm going to that's like an actual fucking movie premiere for like a big deal movie. I'm going to the Driveaway Dolls premiere, which is the new Coen Brothers movie. And this one's been on my list for a minute. I've been so excited to see it. So I've been putting off deciding what it is that I'm going to wear to said premiere. Um, I'm leaving in an hour and <laughs> I still don't really 
freaking know. I bought a dress from Reformation online. It was literally just delivered right now. So I'm gonna see how this works because this might be what I wear. And then hopefully this looks good because this is also what my birthday dress is gonna be that I'll wear on my birthday on March 5th, which is just like a week and a half, two weeks away. We're getting closer. I'm almost 27. Thank God. Okay, what do we think? Just like opened up. I probably gonna have to steam this a little bit. This is huge. Okay, hold on. Okay, it's not, it's not that long, but it is a little long. I don't know how I feel about it. I think I need to adjust the straps a little bit before I like completely lock in my answer. Okay, cons. This dress is longer than I thought it was gonna be. Feeling less optimistic as time goes on. <laughs> Pro is I love the colors and I do think that it fits well, especially knowing that I'm gonna put a harness to like really cinch me in and create a little bit more shape here. I don't love the top of the dress, but I can't tell if that's more like a strap adjustment thing because when I have it pulled tight, I don't hate it, but then I like move and it's like, okay, well, that's not tight. I need it tight. The length is really my number one problem right now. It is dragging on the floor. I am five foot three. I don't really like wearing tall heels. Even if I wore tall heels, I think it would still drag. Is it that big of a deal for a movie premiere? Or maybe if I, okay, hold on. This could be a major breakthrough relation that I just had. If I'm wearing a harness, I can probably tuck some of the dress in the middle here to bring it up and then cinch it and it'll be perfect. I'm a genius. <laughs> I hate steaming things because I just feel like I'm bad at it. I can never really get the wrinkles out. So I just don't bother most of the time, but a movie premiere feels like something where I need to give a fuck about this. I just feel like there needs to be an easier and quicker solution to things like this. Or, or like when I do this, I should see it disappear right in front of my eyes, like this little crease. But it really doesn't. I'll, I'll sit here for 20 minutes doing this and it'll still fucking be there. I actually do feel like it's already working, so maybe I was lying. <laughs> it's been steamed. Now let's try to pull this one out the bag. <laughs> I like it. And I was really doubting it when I pulled it out of the packaging, but I think this works. Oh, do I think it fucking works. I mean, I really do think this is perfect proof that sometimes a harness fixes an outfit. This dress, looked a little weird on me at first. It doesn't fit perfectly, but when I have a harness to sort of tighten it up in the places where it needed to be tightened up, then boom, looks like it fits fantastically and I've got a little bit more of a style going on here. This accessory is doing a lot of work for me. She is employed, mama. She has a 401k. And now I'm running ahead of damn schedule because this went so good because I had a lot of time for this to go poorly. When I sit down, the creases come back. I just steamed these out. Now I sat down, now they're back. It feels a little pointless to steam them again since I'm about to just go sit in an Uber and this is gonna happen anyway. So are we just accepting? Work towards acceptance, work towards acceptance. I'm working towards acceptance. I've reached acceptance. I'm there as like a make-a-wish kid, okay? This is, <laughs> I'm here for love of the fucking game, all right? I'm here because I love writing letterbox reviews. <laughs> so, you know what? If there's a little bit of creases in my dress, that's, that's gonna be okay, all right? Because I'm a critic. I'm a woman of the mind. <laughs> Whatever. I do hate it, but it's okay. <laughs> just like perpetually embarrassed. 
I understand there's at least a little bit of irony in the fact that I'm a YouTuber asking this question. I just gotta be real in saying that there is some part of me that feels mortified that my dress was wrinkly when I did the red carpet. I know I said that I reached a stage of acceptance about it, but I did not. <laughs> So now I lay here in bed post event thinking about the fact that my dress was wrinkly on the red carpet because I dared to sit down in an Uber. My brain is bullying me because of a wrinkle. Sometimes regular human things are so embarrassing. Like a wrinkly dress. It's so embarrassing. It's also so normal. So it's like, it shouldn't be embarrassing because everybody deals with wrinkles in their clothes. But then it happens to me and I'm like, I want to collapse. I think there needs to be a better solution for slip dresses. Becoming wrinkled when I sit, get a grip. Fucking, what do you do? What's your job? Slip dresses, get a job challenge, you know? And that's what it comes down to for me. Like, what business does that slip dress have getting wrinkled on a fucking Uber ride? I steamed you. Don't act like I didn't steam you. And the fact that my brain is going to let me be embarrassed about some wrinkles. Ugh. Mental illness, vibes. Mental illness. It is so gloomy and rainy out today, and I am... So tired, so tired, but let's style an outfit. <laughs> Where will I be going in this outfit? Nowhere, nowhere. It's just for you. This is a special outfit just for this video. <laughs> Next up, let's style this simple black underbust harness. This is actually the newest addition to my harness collection and I have not styled it ever yet. So this is gonna be a test run for me to see what I can come up with. I bought this skirt a while ago. It's velvet, it's floral, it's got like tears in it. Maybe it could be good with this, potentially. Okay, let's try this. I have not worn that skirt yet because it is so long on me and I have to get it hemmed but when i take things to go get hemmed i want to have like a batch of things before i go in otherwise it's like just i have to keep fucking going i feel like to get the full effect of the harness i really need something that's gonna lay flat and pull farther down on my body so i'm leaning towards doing like a bodysuit moment and then having the harness to tie the bodysuit and the skirt together perhaps I'm still cooking, but this is what we've got so far. Okay, wait, hold on, actually. What if I went with this lacy long sleeve black top? Just a bra underneath, harness, skirt. This could be big, okay. I feel like I kind of like this better. Oh, this is actually so cute. See, some days I wake up and I'm like, I could never do the 75 hard style challenge because it must be so difficult to come up with a new outfit every single day that's like a real fucking outfit. Like I live in sweat sets, okay? Let's be real and honest right here on this day. But then other days I wake up and I like look at my closet for three minutes and I cook up something like this. I'm like, you look fantastic. Oh, I love this skirt. It really isn't even, I mean, it's for sure dragging on the floor, but the heels on maybe it actually wouldn't be that bad i could have been wearing it this whole time can i show you guys something i got in a pr box this week so the movie premiere that i went to for driveway dolls they also sent me a pr box that i got in the mail yesterday and um it came with this clone a willy vibrating silicone replica penis kit kind of unbelievable and iconic I don't currently have a willy I would like to clone, but you know, I will keep this in my back pocket for when it becomes necessary. <laughs> I'm just gonna pair this with my classic pair of black booties because I am reliable. You say predictable, I say consistent. I say getting my money's worth. I kind of love this harness because it's so subtle, so it adds just 
the right amount of edge to an outfit. This outfit would look great without the harness, sure. But there's something about adding it to an already solid outfit that just gives it an extra ounce of power. Like you've gotta be a very specific person to wear a harness in like an everyday outfit, I guess. While I'm here, can we talk about how fucking irritating those tarot readers that threaten you over Instagram are? Because they're on my last nerve. The amount of people doing tarot on Instagram that in their readings will be like, and if you don't like and share this post, Bad luck. It's just like the updated version of the chain emails that were like, and your mom's gonna die if you don't forward this to 40 people. Except it's 2014 and it's adults that are doing it and resharing it. Like, are you not embarrassed to be resharing stuff on your Instagram story that's like, this AI bot told me that if I didn't share and send to the first three people that pop up when I click share video, that I'm never gonna fall in love, so. Just gotta cover my bases here. Like, are you not embarrassed? It just pisses me off. And sometimes I'll be in a state, right, where I'm like, I need a sign, I need something. And then I'll have like a video appear on my For You page and then I'm like, let me listen. Let me hear it out. What does it have to say to me? And then it threatens me. And it's like, and if you don't do it, I'm like, ah! Oh, not you. I thought you were a good one. I thought you were just trying to give me advice from the goodness of your heart, but no, you were threatening me. I hate it! I have decided to pair this outfit with this leather vest that I have going on and my black leather bag from Nunu. I love a shoulder bag. I do, okay? They're cute. Except they're also the most fucking annoying bags ever. Because the thing is, is like, I don't, I don't, my, first of all, with the vest on, it becomes even harder to have the strap stay on top of your shoulder. But even without the vest, nothing stays atop my shoulders. Do you know how many days of my life I've spent wishing that I had broader shoulders? I feel like everything just falls right off me. Like, it's not even on. Do you see it? It's already slipping off. And I'm like, please, stay on. It doesn't. My shoulders are not broad enough. I wish they were, they are not. I need something strapped across my whole entire body, okay? So anyways, here's the outfit. Look, I kind of love it, I do. I mean, this skirt is just magical. It's from Tunnel Vision, which I believe goes up to a 6X. Also, this is like very loose goose. Like it's tied in the front, so it can, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm wearing a 2X, but um, I'm pretty sure this, could fit much larger than a 6X if you really wanted to because of how wide that it stretches, being that it's a tie front. It's just so velvet and gorgeous. Uh, I love it. Paired with the leather and the lace and my beautiful bra and the harness peeking out, it is such a good accessory and to me it just really ties together the whole thing and gives it just the right amount of edge. Like it's really seeing it on the shoulder that I think is the best part. This little strap right here. Oh, it's so good. This last harness that I'm about to showcase in this video is probably my most worn harness. This is the one that I get the most day-to-day -day use out of and it's because I think that it can really be used as a very casual accessory the same way I would throw on a necklace. That's really how I treat this particular harness. I could figure out a way to wear it with almost anything at all. And you can probably guess which one that is considering I've styled it about a hundred thousand times. I'm supposed to be going to the airport in like an hour and I still haven't packed for my trip. And I am procrastinating it more by filming this video, but I am just a girl the end of the day. So this is the base that I'm going to style the outfit around. Just this plain black bodysuit and these purple denim jeans, which I'm in love with. It is a newly rental and they are absolutely dragging all over the floor, but they're the cutest jeans imaginable. They're from Eloki, they're super cute. Definitely not the perfect fit on me, but for a rental, doesn't really matter to me. If I was gonna keep them, I'd get them hemmed. However, Big Bud Press recently came out with a pair of jeans that looks almost identical to this. I know that I love the Big Bud Press jeans because I already own them. They do not have the purple in petite sizing yet, but I've heard whisperings, AKA I saw them commented on one of their Instagram posts that petite sizing 
for these jeans might come out in March or April, so I'm just gonna hold off until then. But for now, I can rent these jeans on Newly and satisfy the craving until then. Okay, but back to what matters, the harness. This is an outfit where I want to just throw a harness on and treat it like it's a very dramatic necklace. A harness like this is really the perfect type of harness to do that with because it comes right up and down the middle, wraps around your back, and then you can tighten it in the front. But how I think this looks the best, if I'm wearing it casually like this, is when it's peeking out through a jacket. It's just a bodysuit, you know? There's not a lot to look at here. I don't really care about people seeing the underneath necessarily. But when I throw a jacket over top and it becomes like a little party that's happening in the middle, ooh, she's getting a little crazy under there. I think it just adds a very necessary and cool little piece of additional drama. So if you two live for the drama of it all, adding a little harness to any random outfit could be huge for your happiness. It's huge for my personal happiness. But also, you guys have at this point seen me style this harness in about 65,000 other ways, so if you don't know how to style a harness like this yet, you might never know. <laughs> if you guys are interested in any of these harnesses, investing in one for yourself, I highly recommend checking out Emma Alamo. They are where I have bought all of my harnesses from. They're a small business based out of Chicago and everything they do is completely custom. So no matter what your measurements are, they can make you the perfect fitting harness for your body. So I highly, highly, highly recommend supporting them. It will take you a little longer to be delivered your harness, but it will be well worth the investment. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Maddie Drossbeck if you haven't already and check out my podcast, Emotionally Online, if you want to see more of me. I need to finish packing for this vacation that I really should have already packed long ago for, um, but did procrastinate doing. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.